ready to start provision of efficient and world class infrastructure is critical for our growth aspirations a key issue that bears repetition is the imposition of appropriate user charges necessary to provide adequate returns on investment some success has been achieved in areas such as telecom roads and ports where appropriate user charges exist with the tariff rationalization and other bold measures introduced by my colleague the minister of railways we can expect the railways to serve well the key transportation needs of the country in the years to come other areas such as power urban infrastructure other transportation and the like continue to experience great difficulty because of the lack of appropriate user charges restoration of financial viability in the power sector remains crucial the average rate of return for all sebs is about minus 40 percent and their combined losses continue to increase hence this is one of the foremost challenges not only in the power sector but also for the fiscal health of the state governments and the overall performance of the economy in recognition of these severe problems the prime minister held a meeting with state chief ministers on march 3 2001 while broadly agreeing with the desirability of power sector reforms to achieve commercial viability of state electricity boards the conference placed special emphasis on distribution reforms and elimination of theft or electricity subsequently the high level empowered group of chief ministers and union ministers has agreed to a one time settlement scheme in regard to seb over dues to the central public sector utilities through securitization and issue of tax free bonds by the respective state governments subject to the achievement of specified performance milestones and full payment of current dues in the future i would urge upon the states to come forward and implement the scheme speedily the ministry of power has already signed memoranda of understanding with 20 states and is expected to complete the exercise with the remaining states soon to redouble our effort in this direction adp is being redesigned as the accelerated power development and reform program with an enhanced plan allocation of rupees 3500 crore for 2002 to 3 up from rupees 15 crores this year access of the states to the fund will be on the basis of agreed reform programs in the future i am glad to inform the house that the prime minister's national highway development program launched 3 years ago is progressing well it now promises to achieve a totally new scenario in the road sector the golden quadrilateral will be completed substantially by december 2003 a year ahead of the schedule the north south and east west corridors 
have a length of 7300 kilometers of which 716 kilometers have already been four landed with the assistance of multilateral funding other borrowings by the national highway authority of india with government guarantee and other innovative financing schemes the funding for this phase will be fully tied up in 2002 to 3 the present port trust structure does not allow indian major ports to have the flexibility receded for efficient management and for raising institutional funding it is therefore proposed to corporatize major ports in a phased manner private sector investments have been facilitated and 17 projects worth more than rupees 4500 crore have already been approved and another eight projects worth more than rupees 3200 crore are under consideration with corporatization of the existing ports and new private sector ports coming up the regulatory structure will be strengthened the government has already announced its decision to upgrade the international airports at Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai and Kolkata to the standards of world-class airports by inducting private sector management and investment through long-term leasing systems. Modalities for inviting offers have been finalized and the leasing process will be completed in 2002-3 private sector participation in greenfield airports will be encouraged through a package of concessions availability of land and related infrastructure from the state governments exemption from levy of inland air travel tax and foreign travel tax on departing passengers for projects located in states that charge sales tax on aviation fuel at central sales tax rate, charging of advance development fee by way of additional passenger service fee at the existing airports for help in financing of the greenfield airport and levy of user development fee at the new airport authority of India. The proposed new airports in Bangalore and Hyderabad will benefit from these concessions. The 2001 concessus shows that the urban population in India is now about 285 million greater than the total population of the United States. The number of cities with more than 1 million population has increased for 23 in 1991 to 35 in 2001. We are aware of the sad plight of most of our towns and cities as such. Stop.